Hello my YouTube family! I am back! Now, before we do this week's Challenge Rift, Challenge Rift 180, I just want to give y'all an update on what's been happening with me and why I've been so quiet on YouTube the last couple weeks. Most of you should probably already know that I've been streaming live on Twitch. So since the Diablo 3 season began, the current one, season 22, my two weeks of full focus has gone into Twitch live streaming and trying to level up my character and just hanging out live there. So I did miss a couple challenge rifts. They weren't recorded and uploaded. So things are going to start going back to normal now. I do miss working on my YouTube videos and focusing on them. So that's definitely going to go sort of back to normal now from next week onwards. I did want to dedicate two weeks to Diablo 3 streaming on Twitch. And if you're not following me there already, what are you waiting for? Come over to, to Twitch TV slash Bannock13 and we can hang out there live and you can talk to me there directly and we can have a few drinks, relax and chill out live on Twitch TV. Now, the other thing that I've been working on and I've been waiting on, a lot of you from Twitch will already know this if you follow me there, is my Diablo 4 Premium Lilith statue. That has arrived. It arrived yesterday. The video is recorded and straight after this one, I will be uploading that. So if y'all are waiting for the unboxing, I know a lot of you are very anxious to see this statue. As soon as this video hits and you're watching me talk right now, within minutes or within a few minutes, the Diablo 4 Premium Lilith statue will be the video will also come out and be uploaded there for you to check out So it's an awesome statue. I can't wait for everyone to say yet. I'm pretty excited Just just thinking about Lilith in my cupboard right now. So let's get to this challenge rift challenge rift 180 we're going back to normal YouTube familia you can click on the soul mirror it'll reveal everything you need to know basically it's an inner's monk and we're going to be obviously focusing on our mystic allies, but also exploding palms. So as soon as you enter the challenge rift, I'll give you a quick example here. Activate your sweeping wind and you only have to activate this once. As you can see, we're not going to run out of stacks. It's going to be pinging on three the whole time because of certain items that we have. So if you do die though, which like arcane here is pretty common with elites and if it gets you, you will probably die. So if you do die, just don't forget to reactivate Sweeping Wind. It does assist with damage, but it's not that great. Mostly, we're going to be focusing on Wave 100 Fists here and Exploding Palms. Dashing Strike for Mobility. And when we come across Elite, so let's say that's an Elite there, you want to cast Mystic Ally on his ass. Because that does a lot of damage. Like I'll show you here. There's a pack here. Let's go on in with our Sweeping Wind. Now, use your Wave 100 Fist for damage, but also make sure that you activate Exploding Palm because when when the enemies do die, they do explode and do damage to other enemies around them. So very, very handy there. And if there was an Elite that we just came across here, bang, cast your Mystic Ally. But then keep up your rotation of Wave 100 Fists plus the Exploding Palms. Just keep an eye on your Spirit there. Don't just spam Exploding Palm like a maniac. Like a maniac? Maniac, maniac. Just make sure that you time it well. Keep an eye on your spirit. And then dash on strike to move out of there. Go to the next pack, rinse and repeat. And y'all know how this is done. Keep doing it until the Rift Garden appears. Then kill him and you're done. Challenge Rift is done. So I'm going to wing this. I'm not going to try and get some sort of awesome time. I'm already late, a few days late with this Challenge Rift video. But like I said, things are going to go... Back to normal now with YouTube and I'll be a lot more active on YouTube as well. But if you haven't already, check out Twitch TV. Come and join the Twitch Familia there live. It's a lot of fun, I'm telling you. And I'm there six days a week, pretty much every day. Let's go on in, do this one together. Don't forget to uh, collect your cache for your seasonal character. So that way it gets a bit of a boost and you get, those, get, you get to use those materials on your seasonal character. Anyway, enough talk. Let's go on in, do this one together. Bye. Oh my god, we're in! So, I usually just hightail it to this first uh, elite pack. It's a blue pack, and you've got to be careful because I think a lot of people will die here. If this, they drop arcane straight away, as you can see. you just got to be skillful enough to avoid it. Dash, dashing strike is definitely helpful here to dash out of those goddamn arcane beams. I hate arcane so much. 
I hate Arcane, I hate Wallers, and I hate the exploding dudes. The exploding tubby guys. So there's a yellow straight after here. <clears throat> and as you can see, we're kind of falling behind on time. It is quite challenging with time, but you'll find that there's a few pylons on these maps here, and if you use them correctly, like, I used one there, but I'm just winging it. I don't really know which route's the best way to go, especially with a map like this. You probably want to have one more than one shot <clears throat> at the challenge rift, especially if you want to get a uh, decent time. So, oh, another pylon there, bonus. So I have no idea where I'm going. I'm not planning out a route. I'm just doing this, like, just winging it. But there is an elite here. Nice. And so it looks like, yeah, see, like, it's going to be a dead end here. So I've just wasted a bit of time by coming down here. I probably would have left that elite because who knows? There's probably two or three elite packs up here. But anyway, we're winging it and we're also uh, ahead of time right now. So we've just lost that conduit. So damn, this is a, usually a good map with a lot of density. So what I should have done... Or what you should do is when you get that conduit pylon is come straight here and don't go down and get that elite. See, look, bang. Could have taken this out. But anyway, that's the beauty of doing something live and for the first time. Oh! The explosion nicked me. So we're still pulling ahead here. We should be okay. <clears throat> And we're just moving on. So it is quite squishy. You don't want to get hit. But enemies should be dying rather quickly if you're if you're doing things right. You should constantly always be using way over 100 fists. And then let off the occasional exploding palm. And that way, as you can see there, when they explode, enemies around them will die. Is that a pylon? It is. So potentially, like... You could zerg through this really, really easy. Channeling's a good pylon for the monk because we can use mystic allies. And again, I don't know whether we should have went that way or this way, but we're just going to go to the next floor here. And we're pulling ahead on time. So, with all this density, I hate this map, by the way. I've had enough of this map during the season with my Necro. <clears throat> like as I'm trying to, um, I'm clearing GR 130s at the moment. And as you try and get your personal bests or beat your personal best, like GR push, it's, um, getting this map has just been a nightmare for me. I, I get horrible elites that just have arcane everywhere. Just like this one. <laughs> But we're pulling ahead of time nice. I fear that we're going to need it because the Rift Garden is going to be quite tough with this build. Especially if we don't have Mystic Ally on cool off cooldown. And also, we don't have any enemies to explode with Rift Guardians unless it's a Rift Guardian that um, spawns little minions. So here we go, Rift Guardians up here. And... I just unfortunately used my Mystic Ally and um, ah, just got one shot. So that's all right. One death is okay. Like I said, if Arcane hits you in this, it'll probably kill you as well. So now what I'm trying to do is just burn him down. If he spawns a minion, then definitely use your Exploding Palm. Right now it's kind of frozen. And obviously if you have Mystic Ally up, so come on, give me a minion. Oh, there's one there. Beautiful. Alright, so now with Exploding Palm, apply your Exploding Palm to the minions, and if they explode around him, they'll do a lot of damage. But we got him down anyway. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. So that was kind of like a, honestly, first shot for me. I didn't go in here planning with a, with a planned route or anything. Just went in there, winged it, because to be honest, I'm excited to upload my Lilith unboxing the premium statue is here. It arrived safe safe and sound. Thank you, Blizzard, so much for sending that down to me. And make sure you check out that video next.